first of all, I wanted to say, Mr. Logan Gould, that I'm just uh, so very honored to be at your house. If only you knew how much this means to me. Um, Lily, <laughs> my name is Lily. <laughs> I know your name, I mean, it was impossible to forget once I saw how much of a man of culture you really are. Well, yeah, I saw you at the bar the other day and, but don't get me wrong, I don't usually frequent bars. Uh, I really, I have to say I may have been stalking you if that's something appropriate to say, um, because I've been doing some research and investigation at the local library. Yes, Mrs. Margaret. <laughs> she was the one who told me that um, if I wanted to find more information about that medal that you had, that I should contact you and that you frequented that bar. Between you and I, I think Mrs. Margaret did frequent that bar when she was younger or maybe she... <laughs> does frequent the bar nowadays. I don't want to be nosy, so um, to each their own. The medal? Well, it has to do with my grandpa, actually, because um, since I was a little girl, he's always told me about that war, and I don't know, I grew up being fascinated with history, and especially with that particular event in history. And when I did my research and the lady told me that there was that medal that the colonel in that particular time had, um, I just wanted to find out more. And when she told me that you knew a lot because you frequented the library as well, I decided to follow the hint and go to the bar. <laughs> did I do wrong? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm happy then that, that you don't take it as offensive. It wasn't my intention to offend you in any way. Well, I mean, yeah, I certainly, um, I guess we could say I admire you, but, um, you know, my main focus was the medal because when I saw you were showing it to the other person that was drinking beside you, I saw it from the distance because I was sitting in a corner and it was like, how is this possible? Like, how is this, how is this man like showing the medal that I want so much? It was as if you've been reading my thoughts. <laughs> no, no. I don't believe in, in you know, um, mind control or I don't know how you call it, like telepathy? I don't know. Um, but it was like, uh, maybe, maybe it was fate, you know? Maybe it was fate that you and I were supposed to meet each other so we could have this, um, this conversation. And of course, well, um, since you told me that you were um, willing to sell it, um, well, maybe we could figure out an, an, an arrangement and, um, I don't know, I, I, you know, looking at your house, it's quite obvious that you're a man of money and my family is, um, for, unfortunately, is not, um, but, uh, but I'm, I'm willing to, to pay with my savings and, and also, I don't know, maybe I can work. I'll breathe. <laughs> Take a breath. I'm breathing. Um, you're right. It, it's just that if only you knew like how much this medal means to me and to my grandpa. And you know, I don't want to play the pity party, but he's like a very good man, and he's in where we are his last days. And 
just want to make him happy like if I could have this medal and gift it to him I think he would be so very happy and also like proud of me for what can do well yeah I mean I think death is something that concerns us all had a, a great life and he's done a lot for me and I think this medal could be a very nice way of paying him back for everything no well um, I don't know I think losing someone you love is quite suddenly, but I don't really want to think about that. I mean, if there was a way of keeping our loved ones eternal forever, that could be nice, couldn't it? <laughs> I guess I've never thought about that. Um, yeah, Stain, like, he is 93? I don't think that staying 93 forever could be nice. Me? Um, well, I'm 29. Maybe? Um, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a um, hypothetical scenario and... I don't know what I would do if I... If I were to deny forever, <laughs> well, yeah, you're technically right. <laughs> we could be like 29, but in appearance, right? Just, but we could be able to learn so much history as well. And, yeah. Um, no, I, I, I was just thinking that I could gift it to him, just like. A souvenir or maybe like something he could keep in his pocket and maybe by the time you know death comes for him uh, we could have a little thing to or symbol to give to him in his burial and his funeral um, no um, as a collar so, I mean, is it possible to put it on a... Yeah? <laughs> mm, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, I guess it would be nice to have it um, around my neck as a way to remember him. Yeah. But first I need to buy it, right? I need to be able to know how we can make an arrangement to buy it. <laughs> well, if you insist, um... I don't know, maybe? Do you think it could look nice? <laughs> don't mind me, this is very awkward. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I guess it's, it, I guess it's, it's, um, it's my mother's neck, right? Um, it's um, in my family. We, we have like this... Um, my mother's neck was longer actually <laughs> it was more prettier more um more swan like but yeah i guess if it's related to keeping it as a souvenir or as a way to remember him i would probably wear it around my neck yeah um i'm fine but if you want to drink it's okay i can wait for you here Oh, uh, no, 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 I, 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 I don't, I don't drink alcohol, I mean, um, that's why I don't really frequent bars, <laughs> but, um, yeah, <laughs> a glass of water would be nice, thank you. You have a really nice house, Miss Adina Court. 
I mean, the ceiling is beautiful. I I've never been able to buy one of those um, chandeliers. Do you call them chandeliers? Oh, oh, they're golden. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, um, yeah, it, it's fine, it's fine either way. I can have it cold or... or... Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. It's actually a little hot today. So, um, I mean, can I see it? Can I see the middle? You, you, you don't have it? Oh, 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 your friend? That, that, that's weird, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, you can, you can uh, lend it to anyone. <laughs> I mean, it's yours. <laughs> um, do you think your, your, your friend is coming home soon? Yeah? And now where? Um... Uh... No, um, I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess I, I, I can wait. But it's actually 11 in the night, and I'm supposed to be back at midnight. I mean, before midnight. <laughs> no. No, no. Um. <laughs> I know, I know. No, I don't believe in witches. <laughs> um, it is not that I'm afraid of the dark or the night, but you can understand that a lady walking in the streets very late at night, even though our town is very safe, but um, I don't know if you've been hearing the news lately. It seems that, that there is a maniac on the loose. And so, I, I'm just a little worried and a little cautious. Yeah. Um, well, the things I've heard are pretty terrible, to be honest. Um, there were a lot of missing bodies. Well, actually, not missing bodies. Um, but a lot of bodies appeared. It looked like... The river brought them, and they had, like, in their bodies, missing parts. Yeah, um, you know, one of them was missing an ear, and there was another one missing an arm. But I think a lady was missing her, her left. Um, you know what I mean, right? So, I guess it's already too late for me to be here and walking back home. This light is already risky. You good? Um, but I, I don't want to put you in, in such a, an uncomfortable situation for you. You are already doing enough by, by allowing me to be here. Really? Yes, of course. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I think uh, I think my my mother would be really glad if I walked home with you. I think just um, you know she will see how tall you are and how um, how strong you seem. She would be like um, glad that I'm I'm safe. Well, <laughs> yes, I guess you inspire safety in people. Otherwise, um, I couldn't be here this late at night. Hmm. 
maybe um I don't know. I think it's your gentle face. Maybe your eyes. I don't know. Um, they look like the eyes of a nice person. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's gonna make me blush. <laughs> oh. I will have to go to the bathroom to just um, refresh my face. Well, um, I guess if you're finding me pretty, you allow me to be here to buy this medal. Um, I guess I cannot complain. I mean, it's for my grandpa, and as I've said before, I love him a lot. So your friend is coming with a medal, right? What was your friend's name? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Gluck. Impossible to forget. Um, because, um, he has, I don't know, I think he has a nice smile, and as you, he looks like a person. <laughs> well, <laughs> between the two of you, um, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't really make my mind <laughs> well I think you you are the one who looks stronger <laughs> what yeah um I guess so but I mean it could be better to put the strength into work for um, more good things, right? Like for doing good to people. Oh. No, I, I didn't know about the, the other boys. But I thought they were saying it was a fever that dried their blood. Um, wasn't it a fever? And I don't know. Yeah, um, I've heard of fever. A strong animal. It's a bit awkward, um, I don't want to feel rude, but I think I should, um, I should go back home and, um, and, and maybe come back another day or meet you at the bar, um, yes. The glass. Um. Yeah. Um. I think. I think I'm a little dizzy. It may have been. Um. It may have been the the night walk. I don't know. the water. What, what did you put in it? 